Hello everyone, welcome to round six of the chess.com Blitz tournament. And basically this time format, right, is five minutes with zero increment. And so we've played five rounds and I've only got two points, which is not great. Not great at all, especially considering I've lost the past three rounds, which you can check out at the previous episodes in the playlist below. And in basically every one of those games, I have had a completely winning position that I've thrown away because of terrible, terrible time management. Literally every time. It's so frustrating. Uh, this is actually an interesting line of this opening. Okay. Because basically the rook is under attack. And now when you go c6, like, that's ugly. Although you can go queen there. That is also another option. I don't know why I wasn't aware of that. What? Wait. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't know that. That's... I, I sound like an idiot now. <laughs> I sound like an idiot. Um, can I give this check? Mm, not really. Not really. Let's just drop back. Let's just drop back. I hate to do it, but... Okay. That's actually quite a good move. Let's go C4. It's annoying. What is it with opponents just playing really well at the moment? <laughs> like, I don't know what is going on. Um, okay, let's castle. I think I want to throw this pawn down the board if I have the opportunity. Sounds like a good idea to me. I really need to work on my blitz skills, especially with no increment, because um, they suck. And I am so, so, so much better at, like, over-the-board classical. And it's probably just because I take so much time on moves that are actually kind of obvious. And that I should be seeing quicker. Um, maybe that's because I let my emotions get the better of me too much. And I need time to compose myself before I can find the best move. Maybe that's one of the issues. I don't know. Don't know. But there is undoubtedly work that needs to be done. This is a very promising looking position though. There is a lot going on against my opponent here. But I am up on time for once. So that's very nice. Uh, I will not be winning this tournament, unfortunately, because my time management has been so poor that I have lost games unnecessarily. But, but... This is looking good. I'm going to trade off the queens and just go up a pawn, and my opponent's pawn structure isn't that great. That's what we're banking on. Let's drop back to c3 because I don't think I really want to take the knight just yet, just because I'm kind of behind in development. But it's just an uncomfortable proposition for my opponent to potentially have to make that trade um, and ruin his pawn structure further. Also, I suppose it makes b5 impossible because then the knight would hang. So he brings the knight back. Love to see it. Now I can go g3, bishop to g2. And I do not have to worry about this. And I don't have to worry about this because my opponent's knight is blocking it. So there we go. This knight's probably going to come to e2. I'd rather him take so I can take back with my rook. The knight might come into f4 to go after this weak pawn. Maybe my bishop even shifts if there's an exchange here and this diagonal is no longer vulnerable. That's not what happens. Um, how uh, do we want to do this? I'm actually going to start with king b2. 
because I don't like the prospect of being checked. Okay, trades sound good to me, considering I'm up material. Let's go F4 to stop this pawn from doing anything. We have a nice little formation here. And the thing is, my opponent can keep exchanging things with me, but he is down a pawn. So this is a risky strategy. Oh, I was thinking this, 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 but then um, Rook D2 wins my knight. So let's do it like this. Let's exchange everything. And now we're going to try and win this endgame. I have to make sure my opponent's knight can't get into e4. So I'm going to bring my king up to prevent that. And then my knight to further prevent this. That is kind of scary, actually. don't like that. Because uh, h2 is very weak. That's actually really annoying. Here, here. Here takes. That's really frustrating. What about if I focus... The problem is he's going to scoop all these pawns up. Okay, what about here, here, here. Here, here, here. Push. Push. My computer won't let me draw arrows. Come on. No, it's not happening, apparently. Now I can't move. How is my computer freezing on chess.com? It's chess. There we go. Um... Yeah, let's go in. He could go c6, but then I win both of the pawns. And then this pawn is probably more of a threat than anything. To be honest, actually. Maybe it's better to push that pawn. Like this. Because after the exchange, if I push, that comes with an attack. And the knight can't stop both pawns. If here, yeah, I think I just sack the knight for the pawn, and then I promote one of mine. If the king tries to come back, then probably win the race. He probably has to spend too much time winning my knight first. And now he just can't stop me. And we've got a bit of time on the clock, which is what we've been missing this whole tournament. Yeah, just checking there's no weird check where the knight can go to e6 and win my um, queen. But yeah, my opponent resigns. And that could be a very nice game review um, in terms of accuracy. 88.3 with a brilliant move. Okay, well, that's kind of obvious, really. But... That, that's a nice game. It's lovely not to lose a game on time when I've been completely winning. I was very happy with the opening. Well, I say that. Here, I go knight e4. Apparently, this is the best line. We're supposed to trade and go h4 for whatever reason. I guess to try and destabilize the dark squares. Um... Okay, okay then. Uh, you don't really want to trade the queens, but I guess it's not the end of the world. We go queen e2, which isn't the best. Um, but then we start to build up a bit of an advantage. This is better for black. After takes, takes. Oh, there's a pin. Not going to lie, I completely missed that. But so did my opponent. So that's fine. Um, we win a pawn, and then just 
try and make it as easy as possible to convert the end game. I guess my opponent thought that he could try and hold on in a pawn down end game. And to be fair to him, he definitely went for a good um a good way of doing it by trying to get his king in. And I should have gone h3, because if knight here, then g4 check, the opponent's king gets deflected away from the knight, and h3 stops the king from getting in. That would have been a better way to go about the position, but instead I go knight to c3, which allows the king in. King e5 was better. Ah, so I can do this, and then push the pawn. Okay. But we went for this, which... Okay, no, we don't have time to analyze it um fully thank you very much for watching check out the video that appears on your screen here and i am going to play the final game of this tournament thank you very much for watching